Greetings all, praise King C. La C. So I and I connect the pieces. So I and I know which way I and I step. I and I command is to serve my master, King Selassie, on the earth now in this time. The man having developed his way from the Babylonian construct as presented in recent report on Ras rebirth. The convergence is underway and this is technolo technologically based because man worshipped those things made with his hands as the scripture has told as of days of old the man went and served other gods these gods that could not see hear smell or breathe that have life within and Abraham even having been a salesman of and an unsuccessful one because he did not believe in these idols. So man uses magic to convince others that his gods are supreme when his gods are dead, no life. In this time where I and I represent the living God, Elohim, who has given I the covenant, I weigh. We represent truth as defined by the Christ. And this is transcendent universally to reach into the hearts of the believer that is the one who fears Lord King Selassie the only one now Man projects his image to worship and serve him. And yet, even that man worships and serves another in the form of the beast. The beast grows when it is fed. And the information the man is giving through these devices, which may be known as idols. Gives power unto this beast as declared in Revelation 13. The second beast being this artificial intelligence, AI, to give power unto the first beast man's law. And this is now taking the place of man in, in the, the process of rule whereas it is delegating, delegated the authority to judge over humans. So you see how something that is dead now becomes the God over the living. And in this process, there is a particular outcome It results in the further enrichment of a few oppressive classes. This is not a design that has been constructed 
thoroughly from point A to point B in one place at one time. It has evolved. You know, man has sought to profit, to increase his own wealth and therefore glory as Shinar province of Babylonia was to seek glory. That was the Babylonians' goal, his purpose in life. And many of this, many of them see this glory in the form of pleasure. That the more pleasure that they acquire, the more glorious they be. And they managed to convince themselves to this way because the real God they worship, whether they consider themselves atheists or not, they are worshiping themselves. And this God, in the form of themselves, is Satan. And Satan is the prince of the world. And so this world moves in a direction. And no matter what faces may appear, the body continues to move. And therefore, having many heads, because it has a need to communicate with many different cultures, yet to confine in everyone that is a part of the world unto itself, to come and worship and serve at its feet. And this results in the beast state. Whereas all the communication is intercepted, it's gathered into this supreme database that is the artificial intelligence to sort it and then present it in a readable form as an analysis. And in particular, this is done on individuals, what is being called the psychographic portrait. And this being used by all the major, you know, corporations, which are owned by the same few hands, to determine, you know, what they can get away with as far as uh, forcing people into bondage. For example, I noticed my home insurance went way up, basically doubling. Now, I made all my payments on time. I've been living in the house for eight years or something. You know, I'm married. I've been married since that time, so my wife's taking on, you know, the liability half, and that should, you know, be a reason for less risk. You know, but they're intercepting information. They know that I'm making these videos, and they're saying, hey, this guy's not following with the program. His number ain't consistent. You know, the beast number. Well, it's not adding up. So they're saying we're gonna have to to make this person pay. And that's just basically in a form of bondage. Um, and so as in the ex Exodus, when people are placed in the bondage, um, they have to make a choice. You continue to bondage, um, you know, for, for what? It's pretty obvious that when you boast of the advancement in technology and how it's improved people's lives, but the reality to somebody who's actually thinking is not the case. So you can't sell it but for so long. You start to get people that, that start to realize this thing, well, psst, they have to get put down because they're, you know, it's too, it's too much truth to swallow. 